Welcome back to our 100% playthrough of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on PlayStation 5. And in the last episode, we got absolutely shut down and detoured trying to meet up with Legate Rike. In the first attempt, um, we went in as a werewolf, so they didn't recognize us and killed us on sight. Second time around, we had a frostbite spider chase us down and poison us before we could get recovered. So, since it kept throwing us back to Fort Dunstead's checkpoint, we just went ahead and cleared this out. And even then, that was a whole bunch of chaos because we smacked Mule a few too many times and she killed us too. So, any way we could die, we pretty much died last episode. So, for now, let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this fort while we're here and take the battle to the storm cloaks. All right, so they had a horse stable here. Nothing too much of note. Let's see. The Stumbling Saber Cat. I don't remember us seeing this the first time. Huh? So they had their own bar set up here. What the heck? Cooking spot. Apparently they're drying their boots there. Wait, what the heck? Hi. I'd rather you all not be here. Thank you. Again, the problem of using magic. If I remember, there is a spot somewhere on the skill tree where your magic does not hurt your partner. We absolutely need to get that because Mjol's already killed us once. Sindhu. Aha! So this was the victim of when they took over the fort. Did they leave behind any kind of notes for us? Apprentice locked, um, lockpick. Pretty easy. Let's just try all the way to the right, work our way in. No problem. And at this point, we're just hoarding everything because there's not really going to be much loot when we go to attack the Stormcloaks. Um, Civil War Quest is not exactly known for its abundance of loot, though I believe uh, Gerald Tullius does give you money after each fight to offset some of that. And he does give you, like, special weapons along the way. So here is clearly where the struggle went down. Salt pile is the only food we're actually interested in because it is used for your potion crafting. So the bandits broke in, made a mess of things here, and then off the person on their bed, you can see where the struggle was right here. I always love checking into the lore of places as I go through them because I know they had different people working on different dungeons and sections of Skyrim so this is somebody's unique creation take the arrow that missed us and let's go ahead and sleep till morning that way we have the most daylight to work with we'll go 5 a.m. All right, so now we are ready to go. Let's again check the world map to see if that changed anything as far as Dunstead being complete. It did not. My gosh. I think that has driven me more crazy than anything. One thing about me, I am absolutely a completionist. And to see this one not ticked off as many things as we've beaten here. Uh irks me in a bit of a unique way. So this was the miscellaneous quest. 
that was messing us up with our tracking last time. So we'll go ahead and take that off. This time being aware that there is a frost spire here and it is ridiculously powerful. Okay, so I have an idea of how we can do this without getting ourselves killed. Because these frostbite spiders are absolutely blocking our path forward. This time I'll make sure to cut that death out. Basically, we killed two frostbite spiders, one still snuck up behind us before we got there. So let's go in with the werewolf as soon as we see the group. We'll go ahead and deactivate the werewolf. They are perfectly fine with you transforming to a werewolf to do the Civil War battles, but they have to first know it's you. I mean, if they see a werewolf off in the distance coming at them, they're going to attack on sight. I mean, at least this way they know who it is. Okay, so there's the group. Let's get away from everyone. Because otherwise, Mule will start attacking them too. So let's get far away from all of them. Enough to where we can wait. And then let's go ahead and wait out the werewolf. And we should be okay, and should still have the werewolf transformation we can use. Since it would have been 24 hours. All right. Hey, 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 everyone, cut it out. You. Oh my gosh, you two. Will you stop? Okay, we discovered the location. Get the heck out of here. Uh, this is that weird Skyrim quirk where you actually can't fast travel when something's attacking you. You have to get far enough away that they can't see you. Miol is immortal. I'm immortal. Wait two days. For everything to calm down and go back to him. Oh, they wanted me to follow in his footsteps. Of the now I'm hoping. I set my aspirations a bit higher. I'm hoping complain. all of this troubleshooting will help someone out if they also end up in a similar situation, where they're at a quest site, someone's hostile toward them, that they really need to not be. Now, one thing you notice out of the corner of our eye, the Khajiit are here, meaning the Dawnstar box should have been resupplied. So let's bring our horse over to it, go to the corner, and yep, clear out the box, get in the horse, and because the horse doesn't recognize weight, we can fast travel with him back to our home and throw anything that's good away. That's why anytime I need to escape somewhere, I always escape to Dawnstar, just in case that chest has been refilled. Let's jump out where our items are kept. Now this is where we've been keeping all the stuff to sell, all kind of the random stuff. Go ahead and take it for now. That way we can sort out what we got from the chest. My father wanted me to follow in his footsteps as a hunter. But I set my aspirations a bit higher. He never complained. I missed. So first to a smelter so we can get all the ore condensed. Just like that. Now we want to go ahead and get our smithing supplies. And what I always do is I just pull them all out. That way everything's in the inventory. And let's quickly check the weapons and armor that we got to see if there's anything really neat that we want to use going forward. So, Dwarving Bow of Arcing, that is magic damage. Magic damage. Now, sometimes these weapons that already have enchantments on them, at the early stages of the game, 
uh, the enchantments are going to be better than if you put them on yourself since our enchanting skill is so low. Now there's our main sword that we're using. Keep in mind though, until we get 50 in smithing, you cannot upgrade your uh, enchanted weapons and armor. That's our bow to soul trap stuff. Doesn't look like anything else useful. Let's use what building supplies we do have to make finer versions of everything. That way we make use of our items and help increase our smithing. There's our Nordic gauntlets we are looking for. Steel shield. Great. Now, one thing I noticed is, let's go to head to Miol and give her an upgraded shield. Like to trade something? There no we are. Problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. All right, your iron shield is garbage. Let's replace it. I think I accidentally equipped something. You need the steel shield. There you are. And also, since I have a bow and I'm just using it for soul trapping, let's go ahead and give you an actual decent bow. There you go. And you do have to supply them with arrows. Otherwise, they won't use the bow. That's fine because arrows are a plenty and it's basically the only thing we buy at the weapon stores. So there are plenty to go around. We're not to be using that much of them. And they are under weapons, not armor. So give all the arrows we don't care about. Definitely feels like that horse is breathing down all my set. neck. Let's go. Thanks a lot, Lucy. All right, sharpen up any weapons we can with what we got. Elven dagger, great. Orcish war axe, fine. And that's it. So at this point, let's go ahead and put our smithing tools away. Uh, the pelts, obviously, for our leather. Let's just go ahead and make it all leather, because the pelts are kind of pointless. And that way it cleans it up easier for us. Right now, just turn everything to leather. If we need to get strips, we'll make them as needed. There we go. Leather does weigh considerably more, but we're not taking it with us, so it doesn't matter. That way you're not having to store as much. Da, 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 da. Okay, ingots, ore. Quest I am Nope, of course not. Alright. Get rid of the leather and the strips. More ore. Or, or ingots, or and that's it. All right, now with that done, Lucy, take us home, so we can deal with the rest of it. That's the good thing about this house; they can literally take you right to the smithing area and right to the front door. Again, to move at top speed, just get yourself a bow equipped. Crouch and aim the bow. That way you walk almost normal walking speed. This way we come over here, just undo the bow. And let's disenchant basically everything we got from the Khajiit box. That way we have more... Uh, enchantments to work with and it increases our enchantment skill of course we want to keep our bow that we enchanted carrying capacity we need that fire resistance we don't and of course it's tempting to do the wedding ring but come on now have some dignity Alright, with the alchemy lab, 
we all know the trick at this point to go ahead in the satchel, take everything. Go through items, make sure nothing has all four unknown. If it does, eat it to learn the effect. At this point, combine everything you can, prioritizing the ones you actually would like to have. Like regenerate magic, of course. I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. And I, I can see because we now life. are using the PS5 version, apparently it has its own trophies. Conjuration, absolutely. Especially now that we can finally do Atronox. Restore magic, restore health. Notice I only used two ingredients instead of three. That was to make the most of the amount of items I have. More potions is more things you can sell. And more things to up the alchemy skill. And of course, let's just go through things that might combine. It'll tell you if it does. And as you see here, it actually gave us a new category. Perfect. Now, flour won't go with anything else. The eggs, garlic. That makes sense. Did it give us a new category? No. But we did learn the skills. That's because we ran out of garlic. Alright. Dragon's tongue, no. Mountain flour, no. Salt, no. Alright. So at that point, throw all of our ingredients back away. Back in the satchel they go. Now again, bow, crouch, aim. That way we can speed back to the bedroom. Literally at the speed of light over here. My gosh, we're going too fast. Alright, in the safe. Let's put all of our precious jewels here again. Role playing. Not like you actually need to. But that way we know where they are if we want to buy something that's really expensive. We know just open the vault. We haven't really got any quest specific books, but we do have a lot of books to throw in the random bookcase. Basically everything that it will let you throw in there. It'll automatically make you keep anything related to a quest. Alright, this is supposed to be closed. It's looking like it's turning into a whole hodgepodge of things. But let's go ahead. If basically, if you're not wearing it, dump it. It can all be sold and will be sold when we have... Um, the vendors leveled up to have more money. For now, it's just going in there, out of our inventory. We don't use shields. Leather's not worth anything. Okay, now we're getting into potential robes we could use, but novice, not a chance. All right, now what is the difference with these? Unarmed strikes do one additional damage. However, the armor rain goes up by three. Uh, let's see what special effect ours has that we currently have. Now these boots don't have enchantments at all and have the same armor rain. I mean, you gain one, but we lose the ability to have more carry weight, so no thanks. All right, our Nordic Gauntlet's at 15. That is upgraded. So good there. If we don't have a ring on currently, we should probably be wearing our wedding ring. There we go. And looks like we are good as far as that goes. Now, weapons, completely different story. I'm I, think I, for a fight. I think I took Grim Severs what I took, because I noticed I had a sword no in my problem. hand. 
I can carry a good bit of gear. That needs to go back your way. Yep, sure I did. There you go. All set. Let's go. I mean, I did get that back for a reason. Now, because if we're to enchant something, it's most likely to be the weapons. You only have to enchant the armor one time and you're pretty much good for life. Uh, weapons you can constantly recirculate if you find something new that you like. So let's go ahead and throw weapons over here, somewhere close to our enchantment table. Da, 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 da. Looks like the drawers it is. As completely unrealistic as it is to stuff this stuff in a drawer. We don't care about fishing right now, that's why we threw that in there. And that's our bow that fills soul gems. We do need a pickaxe anytime we run across something we can mine. Keep the arrows, they don't weigh anything, unless you're in survival mode. And we shouldn't need to chop any wood down, that's just used to make arrows. So at this point, what is our weight at? It's surely acceptable now, yep, 163, we are good. Now going into this fight, let's go ahead and get the Atronach in one arm. So he can be leading the charge for us. And let's go ahead and get our defense up in the other. Uh, we don't even need to get on the horse because the whole point of how we did it is we discovered the location before we fast traveled out. So now we just warp back to the location. And everyone should be okay with everyone now. You see who we are. Looks You're like not the hostile. Damned rebels got here first. No matter. We have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. That's the plan. Ray, let's go. Follow me. Good to see you, my friend. I knew you'd make a proper legionnaire. You better believe it, Advar. Those storm folks are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the pretender, wants that crown, but we're not going to let him have it. I realize some of you may know men on the other side, but remember this. They are the enemy now and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the jagged crown, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. Better believe it. And we are absolutely speed running this dungeon. Let's go. Fast as possible. Defense up. We don't care about any of you. Let's go. Let's pick our way in. All we care about is getting the Jagged Crown. They will clean up all the enemies for us. Finally, as you can see, it automatically leveled up our lock picking a few times for us. Fast healing both arms because we're just speed running everything. That gets us to his chest. It's got plenty of goodies. Okay, so this was not the way forward. Gotcha. Again, just let them do all the fighting, and we'll do the crown retrieving. There's the way in. Okay. We don't have time to waste with them. As you can see, they just teleport to where we are anyway. Wait when we're out of stamina. And literally dodge everyone. Not really, but apparently you all do. 
Now let's see if we have any stamina potions, just to make life a little easier ourselves. Da, 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 stamina, there we go. And keep it moving. We are clearly the mutual observer here. We are not fighting anyone, we are just getting it done. We will only fight when you give us no choice. And the whole reason we're not using the werewolf is so that we can heal. Since we're basically just running from everything. Eventually, I believe you will have to fight a boss at the end of all this. And again, we're just warping all of our own troops to us every time we enter a new area. All right, infamous claw puzzle. Let's see what we got to work with. So just like before, get the claw. And let's take a look at, where is it, Ebony Claw. So look at with this button, and that is Wolf Insect and whatever the other option is. All right, so Wolf Insect and your whatever the air ones aren't. Dragon, I guess. As I hit it, a mistake. There we go. And unlock it. We gotta move. Again, the Imperials will do the fighting for us. Work our way in. Let's go. Dungeon clear. Just like that. Alright, Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Trapped behind here. Looks like this panel opens. Most likely there's going to be a switch. Or it's just going to be a passage. Take all the loot. Nothing yet, but we need to get in here. The stormcloaks are here. And keep looking. There's got to be some way to get that gate open. Down here, maybe. So this path takes you up top. This panel has to open somehow. They wouldn't have these ridges if it didn't. Is that pressure plate? Looks like it. There we go. So now we're in here, let's get around it. Switch. Do not see the jagged crown yet. That was a booby trap, of course it was. Hitting that switch, most likely, uh, rose the door on the other side. Nope. Locked us in here. So let's undo that. And get the heck out. So you all still haven't found a way past that door. Gotcha. Let's check with candlelight just to make sure it's not a door or switch we're not seeing. This may sound obvious, but do you see a lever? Right. There we are. We've got more. Steady, Always use candlelight. It will save your life. To the crypt. 
At this point, we're going to be dealing with Draugr as well. But again, we don't care about any of that if we can help it. Here's a word wall. Go ahead and get that word while we're here. Slow time. Perfect. And I'm guessing the crown is going to be on this Draugr. Yep, there it is. So we need to wake him up. Just like that. And bomb the ever-loving crap out of it. Okay, it's like 20 on 1. Surely we can get him. Basically, let them do all the work for us. Take the crown. And let's get the heck out of here. It's already getting quite chaotic. My gosh, will you all stop... Fighting everything. We'll stay here and see if we can find anything else that could be of use. All right. So we just need to work our way out. And at this point, we have got ourselves the Jagged Crown. Okay. So I won't waste everyone's time on this any longer. I'll go ahead and get ourselves out of here off screen. And we'll pick that up in the next episode. Really like so we can finally turn in the Jagged Crown and move forward with the Civil War quest. Again, uh, we ran our way in here so fast that I don't actually remember all the twists and turns we made. So I'm just going to do it off screen so you don't have to sit and watch me get lost for 10 minutes. And with that said, take care everyone. Jagged Crown in the books. We are moving forward and one step closer to being on to dragons. Till then, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time.